Hey, hey. All right. This is uh, Greg's Glassy. Greggles, they call me. And I'm reporting day two for work camp. And we're just going up in the lifts. We're on like a, a little uh, mobile lift crane getting lifted up into the site. And uh, I'm just going to flip the camera around. So we're rocking into here in Dior. And just let old mate uh, open up the uh, thing. And uh, Go. So, and with the boys and the girls, and uh, we're live, and uh, we're in the Bishop's Castle here in Dior. Looks like it's Dior, but it's actually pronounced Dior in Hungary. And uh, we're going to take you around. I'm going to be your reporter today. I'm going to take you around, give you a feel for everything that's actually happening. So, let's start off with the man himself. Okay, so this is Renee Karen, who basically is the, the, the man behind Work Camp Parquet, and uh, we've got to find Michaela as well, who's also just as responsible, and uh, they work on this together, and it's like something that they do every year, but they try to do every year. In fact, they've got a couple of things that they do per year. And it is just an amazing, amazing thing for our industry. Um, good day, Corey. How are you? Good morning. All right. So, oh, actually, I know where Michaela is. We're going to have to find her later. Um, let's go. Let's go quickly. Just uh, point her out. So, unfortunately, you're going to get this all day long. Um, I'm going to take you around. I'm going to show you, like, basically everything that's going on here. So, look, we've got a couple of priests down there. So. This is pretty heavy. There's another one over there. Um, I'm not sure if they're taking confessionals or marrying people. Um, so apparently, every five years here in Gyor, in the Bishop's Castle, people who have been married can come and get remarried. So um, if you've been married, you can come back and get married for a five-year anniversary and then your 10-year and then your 15-year. So this is something that only happens one day every five years, and it's today. So that's quite fun. Anyway, I can't see Michaela, so she's she's down there sucking on a dart somewhere. So um, when she comes up, so they're going to shut the lift down in the next uh, just under just under an hour for so the next hour and a half, and um, we can't get up or down. So we're stuck up here. No toilet, no anything. You're not allowed to drink or eat or swear or smoke or do any of those sort of fun things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, up here, so there's just no facility and there's no tolerance for that. All right, so as you can see, there's bed tool everywhere, and uh, we're going to go and talk to some people in a second. I'll just quickly run through what's actually going on. So, we've got these carpet two panels here. We just ask Corey, do we have a name for the pattern, like the pattern? Uh, that's a very good question. There's uh, different names in different countries, Renee. What is Renee, what is the parquet panel name? The actual name of it. It's in the UK that is also known as a Bordeaux, which is a French panel. What are some what are some this common names for uh, parquetry patterns or panels like this for? Well it's, it's it very much depends on the origin of the place itself. So sorry, what is the parquet panel name? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a, so it very much depends. You've got your different your countries, different names. Yeah, different countries, different, different names. countries, different names. That's yeah. exactly what Corey said. So, so yeah. in, in the UK, that one's known as a Bordeaux panel. Um, so Bordeaux. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's enough. I'm yeah, going to come please. back to you. So keep going. Um, so basically, the Bordeaux panel um, in the UK. Um, you know, if you're a timber style girl, um, and. Uh, you know, you have a name in your local country. I'd love you to shout out and actually tell us what it is. All right, so this place here, and I don't unfortunately have any dates. Um, you know, how old? How old? Ten years. Zero. Hundred and fifty years. Very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this this floor is one hundred and fifty years old. Uh, it's been laid 
Um, I think he said with no glue or if it has been done with a glue, it's been done with a bone and skin glue, which uh, I don't see the glue anywhere yet. Um, the glue is actually something that is heated up. I hope everyone can hear me. Um, if, uh, okay, so if anyone's out there listening and you can hear me, can you send me a thumbs up that I'm coming through clear? Um, I'd love to know. Uh, I can't see the glue, the glue anywhere, but it's like a, 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 a tub and it's just hot. Oh, hang on, the nail's taking me somewhere. This could be exciting. Identification for the parquet. Uh, identification for the parquet. All right, here we go. Is the, is the underlay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Pulling up a little bit. It's different. When we uh, this change, yes. different. Yes. And these nails. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So the underlay. Old and old nails. Yeah. So these nails here are basically, the nails have been all nailed in by hand and they follow the line. So these nails underneath the subfloor are all laid on a 45, which follows the original pattern, right? Now, there was another floor here that was laid and it was a strip floor and it's believed, and I need to get confirmation of this today, but it's believed that that floor, that, that floor was damaged in the wall and they just put down a strip floor here so we're actually this is so cool we're actually um rectifying this area back to what it was pre the war so we're we're still fixing something that was damaged in world war ii um which blows my mind uh, uh so yeah we've got this 150 year old floor here there's lots of repairs going on my beautiful girlfriend actually did all of these here um she actually tried the hardest one first, so she infilled that little bit in there. And uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the moment of glory. And then it's like falling like this. So the, the reason he knows that there's like, um, he's been able to date some of this is that there's different underlays. Going to be, we're going to be remaking these panels, we're going to show you that in a sec. And um, the new panels will be coming in here. So this one here we can actually take up. Good. There we go. So we'll be really careful that we don't actually break this one. We're not going to break this one. Look at that. Look at this. This is so cool. So, Ah, so this one is basically just, look at that, it's, it is, it's laid with no glue, so there's nothing Glue that, is only here. Yeah, so glue is in the joints of all of this, so it's all tongue and groove together, and um, oh, it's all done with slip tongues. Okay, so yeah, amazing. This is the original handwork, you, from this is okay, plain, yeah. and this is rough. Yes. This is the... Yeah. Oh, it's done with shims. So yes, so there's shims actually leveling the floor underneath. Um, there's our slip tongues there. So look at this. Look at this, the history. This is the identification from all of the parquet. Yeah. When you know machines and industry yeah. and the water and, and transmission, yeah. it's the, oh, only hard work. It's only hard work is old. Yeah. When you test playing, this is with, work with the transmission. Transmission is in the, in the workplace. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Or, Water or, or uh, for hot water damp. Yeah. Yes. In the machines in the industry. Yeah. Work yeah. In the in the in the workplace. Yeah. And this is work here. Yeah. Parking. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think what he was saying was that like a lot of a lot of that stuff that you, you can identify the, the age of a parquet by the underneath, and it's to do with you know the top's obviously been you know worked on by hand on site, but the underneath you can tell by the marks and the machining, um, how it's actually been done. And he said that, you know, like, uh, 
they can tell that the machines were run by, you know, like Steam or I, I, I don't know what else, you know. Um, but yeah, it's basically the construction of how the tunnels are, is you can tell the age of them, which is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, moving on. So, this is all good. Next door's all good. I mean, these guys here are. Uh, we had we had half the room um, yesterday, and we were going around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's just some of these <laughs> pair of clowns. Okay. Never happy. Anyway, um, we've got to go through. We've got to repair all the sort of really, really bad damage. And I'll take you over there because there's a bad one over there just to show you exactly what I mean. And then it gets hand scraped and oil. So the other team, I don't know where they are, basically hand scraped all of this area yesterday. So no machine. All done. All done by scraping. Just like that. So, we go through, we mark what needs to be repaired, you know, and then we fix it. So, here's what I'm talking about. So, you know, there's a broken piece of timber. We don't just rip out the piece of timber and put a new piece of timber in there. Um, someone like destroyed my little block that I made a sled yesterday that I could cut slivers on a table. But, you know, you mark with the tape. Where it's you know, a little bit bigger of a gap, and you sit there and you actually you know, we'll, we'll get a wedge you know, and, you'll, and you'll machine it down and you'll make it so that that wedge fits into the gap and you put a little bit of a tape onto it. And you glue it up you know, and you put it in. But we're only putting in historic pieces of timber. So we're not putting in new timber, all the timber that's going back in the floor has basically been harvested from old flooring. So, you know, all the repairs are made out of, you know, flooring that's, you know, could be 100, 100 odd years old. Usual suspects, usual suspects, usual suspects. Um, so that's what's going on there. So, so they're not here where they hand scraped and they ordered that yesterday. Um, we were yesterday repairing all, so we were putting in like infill. Uh, I dry reached a few times because the glue is made out of skin and bone and it actually smells like it's made out of skin and bone. Here's one of my little repairs here. So, nice and point like a tiger. Um, another one here. So I also did this one here. Um, there was a lot of movement. In fact, that's a lot better. So this was bouncing up and down because it's up or there was a joint through there and there was nothing that was stopping that from moving up and down. So this little sliver, we actually made larger, so it went down and actually repaired the sub floor as well. Alright. Um, so, yeah, that's the repairs. You can see that there was like seven repairs inside the board. They were all done. Um, and then all of this is also all repaired. So this half being repaired, today it's getting hand scraped. That side there, was hand scraped and today it's getting repaired. So that's what's going on there. Alright, uh, I'll come back to the hand scraping guys um, and uh, we'll talk to them in a little minute. Um, so we'll talk to we'll have a, say good day to Dilbert who's from, from Canada. Uh, Dan, mate, how you going? Pardon? How you going? All right. We're live in in the work camp group. So I'm reporting today. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So what are you doing today? Uh, doing repairs? Patching the floor. They're patching the floor? Yeah. All right, no worries. So um, what we've got is we've got gaps in the floor and, and Dilbert, where are you from? Canada, Canada. Ontario. Yeah. Ontario, Canada. Yeah. Yeah. So he's yeah. cutting, he's basically cutting slivers and he's going to be gluing them in later on. So. Yeah, yeah, trying to fix it up. Fix yeah. up the old floor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's your wife? Yeah, she's helping too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's Donna. good stuff. Yeah. Donna. So. Yeah. All right, beautiful. Yeah, thanks. All right. Anyway, let's meet a few of the hand scrape guys. All right, so right here. 
guys are sharpening a blade. Okay. Okay. Do you want to introduce yourself and where you're from? I am Johan. I'm from Holland. I'm uh, sharpening the blades for the scraping of the floor. Yeah. I make the, the ankle on the on the blade. You can see it over here. Yeah. Maybe you can see it. Yeah. It's the crow. And I make a hook. Yeah. So then like, you, then yeah. they can scrape the floor, the boys. So uh, the surface is ever better looking. Yeah. 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 And we cut ourselves a few times already. Yeah, of course. So when you're shaping them. Yourself. Yeah. Mm. It's too bad. Yeah, so, so one of my favorite accents, the Holland accent, it's the one that, like, if I could mimic the Holland accent, I would just do it, but I can't. I'm not very good no, at accents. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> See you later, Greg. Okay, thanks. All right. Uh, we got Diego. Diego is from, I think, maybe from, I don't know. But uh, anyway, these guys are like, they want their thing here, we'll let them not keep going. But yeah, they're scraping away at the floor. And then, uh, all right, so, let me, let, me, let me tell you what's next. I talk a lot. So, this here had basically a strip floor in it, or maybe a herringbone floor, I don't know. They, they, they did something to, uh, to have a floor in here, basically post-war, that was a decent sort of floor. And now, we're gonna like restore it back to pre-World War II. Uh, look, hey, I'm speculating. That's that's the story I was told um, by somebody. Hopefully, you know, we can get a confirmation of that today. But we we're going to take you and we're going to show you the panels that are getting made in a very very traditional way, um, but with some modern techniques, simply because time, for time permitting. And then we're going to continue these panels out, you know, um, from this floor here. Luckily. I've got to say, very luckily, we don't have to meet it on the other side. The herringbone floor here is getting left. To, to run that floor out through here and then back into here and then to join it into over there, I think would be a nightmare. Um, something that was done 150 years ago. Um, and uh, to remake it, to make it to the right size to like set it out, lay it through, and then have it marry back into a floor that we don't even know if it, um, you know, if it is true, would be, would be pretty full on. Anyway, so, this floor, this stuff here, this is the, this is the, no, that's not the material there. All of this stuff here, that's the floor that was laid in here after the war, just to, just to repair it. And what they've actually done is they've recycled that floor and made it into a panel. So they've made, I'm not sure how many panels, about 75 of them, I believe. How many is required for this room? And they've basically turned, glued them together, turned the groovers together, put a piece on the side, and um, that's going to be the panels that are going to make up this floor with the parquetry um, over the top of it. So um, they're using all old school methods to um, flatten the panel out. So find somebody who's oh yeah okay so so the panels are here and they're using hand, large hand planers like this to basically flatten out the panel. Um, and get it like so it's flat before starting. So you can see this one here, little the marks where it's been like kept and, and um, worked on. Um, Emilio has got his name on this one, so he's found the center of the panel and using his channel points, old school. And he's worked out. 290 degree lines on a, on a 45. Um, and, and you know, he's made his, he's making his start point off of those. Um, he's going border first, I think he's going border first. And then 
all of the tinder by the way, it's all been, like we all have to book match it. So, the oak is cut and then it's book matched so that it all marries up and it, and it matches onto itself. So I'm going to let Emilio work. I'm going to just, I'm just going to run in here for a sec and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about this oak just for a minute. So this oak here, these trees were planted when these trees that make up the floor were harvested to make the floor. So when these trees were cut down to make this floor 150 years ago, they replanted those oak trees. And what you're looking at is those trees turn into um, the lumber that's going to make up our parker tree. Um, it's all been carefully machined, cut, book matched, and kept in pairs. And that's why it's bundled and shrink wrapped the way it is, which is amazing. It's quite interesting. All right, so, so that's the stuff that they're using, and they're going to make up these tunnels. Uh, right oh. That's the time. I'm going to just get this thing off my wrist. So we're going to be shutting down this lift in a bit. Sorry guys for that. So it's, it's 9.30 right now. Um, I might just jump off this live for a sec and uh, we're going to go downstairs and maybe take a uh, last drink, maybe a quick walk around and uh, show, uh, show you a little bit of the, the area downstairs. That's what I say live and we'll go down. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Hungary by the way. Yep, down. So. Oh wow, well, there's a line up for the toilet. Yep, we have a security guard down here, not letting anyone bit squishy squash. Got teams of priests everywhere doing their things. So the lift stops basically at six foot high, so if there's anyone underneath it, they just pop a little one to the head but they don't actually get squashed. Moves on. People are coming in that way, so maybe I can get out there. Alright. Okay. Yeah. So that's our access there if anyone was wondering. This is a smoker's corner. Yeah, this is some of the boys. This is this is Fino. Hello. No one's ever heard of him before. Like yeah, no, he, sorry. Yeah, then, That's you know. because I'm poor, Chugiz. <laughs> <laughs> this is Josh Lemmy. No one's yeah, actually heard of me. Yeah. So I don't post on the internet much. Yeah, Which I'm fine with. Yeah, yeah. So where are you from, Josh? Australia. Australia? Where in Australia are you from, Josh? Toowoomba. Oh, wow. Yeah. So am I. Well, not Toowoomba, but I'm from Australia, so... Um, 
Only about an hour and 10, 15 minutes from Toowoomba. Also, an hour and 20 from your no, place, good. actually. An hour and 20 from my place. I know that because Josh sometimes comes over for dinner as a steak. Anyway, just have a quick quick look out here before we go back upstairs the last time. Again, the lift is getting shut down in half an hour. So, um, can't believe how beautiful Hungary is. <sighs> Some of the girls smiled at me more. No one smiles at me. All very serious. I smiled like, look, this is really rough. Like, even Jesus only got doing it with one hand. So, church. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Shut down this live and uh, grab myself a coffee or something, and I'll go back.